Hello, people of God. So today is the today is actually the thirteenth of October, two thousand and twenty, and this is my second video. Oh, we want to say is thank you for today. Yeah. Oh, we want to say is thank you, Jesus. You're such an awesome God. Thank you, magnificent God. We magnify you. We exalt you. James 2, 3 says, If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, Here is a good seat for you. But say to the poor man, You stand there or sit on the floor by my feet. So I guess here God is speaking about, you know, fair treatment, not being judgmental, not being prejudiced. We pray that as Jesus lives through us, we are able to love you know, all, for God so loved the world that he gave. He loved us all. That's why he gave his only begotten son who gave his life, his life for us that we may have life instead of eternal death. Uh, Philippians 1, 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. We know that our God, our creator, he is the greatest supporter. He's definitely able to uh, bring to a perfect finish what he has begun. And therefore, that's why we say we are working progress. And we have all come to the full maturity in Christ Jesus. Uh, Matthew seven fifteen says, Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves yes the bible talks about in the last days that there will be false prophets and they will come to deceive because remember the devil's you know scheme is always to steal to kill and destroy he always comes to the, he parades himself as an angel of light yet everything about him is all dark and it's all wicked and it's all evil yes we pray that we'll be able to discern give us holy spirit the descending spirit, the Holy Spirit descends. Because the Holy Spirit, he, he is the one that helps us descend. He teaches us in all truth. Jesus said, I will not leave you as an orphan. I will give, bring you the Holy Spirit who will teach you in all truth. John 2, 19 says, Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and I will raise it again in three days. Yes, Jesus was talking about his body. Where, you know, it was laid down and then it was resurrected. So we can live in victory today. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Remember Exodus 28. Remember the Sabbath day by keep, keeping it holy. Yeah, we talk about the Old Testament and New Testament. We talk about the times of law and the times of grace. So I guess Jesus teaches us, you know, in the way that we ought to live, you know, the people at the time, the Pharisees, they kept the laws of the Sabbath religiously while they neglected things like justice, you know, mercy, you know, taking care of, you know, the poor or even healing. You know, they would choose to, you know, observe a ritual over, you know, someone's suffering, being relieved, you know. So that's where God was teaching us, let the Holy Spirit lead the way. The Bible says, the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not be in war. He leads us. In the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Um, <clears throat> Hebrews 10, 24. And let us consider how we may spare one another on toward love and good deeds. Our main aim is to spare one another on towards love and good deeds. But God is love. It's that the Bible says, whoever says he knows God but does not love, really truly does not know God. Because God is love. And Philippians 2 verse 1 says, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, yeah, well, to encourage one another, comfort one another, love one another. John 14 2 says, My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you. 
basically i guess you know it can be taken literally but also it can be taken in a spiritual sense that you know god you know has room for everybody you know he's come to deliver you know the worst of the worst and it doesn't matter where you are at god is able to deliver you uh galatians 6 7 do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows yes god help us to be able to sow seeds of love seeds of kindness seeds of your grace and of your might thank you jesus that you continue to do far exceedingly abundantly beyond whatever we can think or even imagine we bless you we magnify you we honor you because only you are worthy of praise. Worthy